Welcome back, TCS viewers. It's Chris Nichols here from the camera store again with Nathan Ellison. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, we came to the scariest part of town in Calgary to shoot the new Fuji XE2 because a camera like this is made for urban photography. Now, Nate, correct me if I'm wrong, but you do use something like this, right? Or you did? I did. What happened? I did. Um, I originally had a, an X100. Hated it. There's obvious reasons you can you can find that out. Everybody hated it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I had an X Pro One. Hmm. Sounds like a sad story, man. Tell us about it. We were hiking Mount Uniska. It's uh, I was taking care of it. You know, I had it strapped to my chest, and we we're about to do the scramble. So I went to take it off to put it in my bag, and it just yeah, it was so fast. It just I I hit the clip, and it just fell. It fell. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyways, uh, I know you got your big Nikon gear, so why yeah. are we carrying something like this around? Uh, well, originally my, my carry around was a D800 with a 35 mil, which is, you know, a tank. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wanted something that, you know, still gave me the control, but, uh, you know, more compact. Good image something quality. Like, yeah, something yeah. I can carry around easily. Nice lenses. Yeah. Well, because you're without a Fuji, I'm going to let you shoot the XC2 today, which is great because then I don't have to take photos all day, which I'm going I'm to love that. So there you go. Thank you. And uh, yeah, just give us your impressions on it. You know, really the XC2 seems to be more of just an evolution of the XC1. But we're going to talk about what differences are and hopefully have some fun today. Beautiful. Watching people take photos is more boring than watching golf. So Nate, on the X Pro One, I know like you know the big unique factor about that was that hybrid viewfinder. But you're saying you didn't really dig it, you didn't use it that much? No, I was never a big fan of the optical viewfinder on the X Pro One. Um, it just, as far as like you know, g grabbing focus and the the changes in distance, everything yeah. like that, it was just. It was I got to agree with you, man. It was fun, but it was a pain when you got close. You had to turn it off anyways. Yeah. The electronic viewfinder in here has always been good. It uses the same one that the XC1 has, so they haven't changed that. But the back screen is nicer, and I don't know how much you use the back screen. Three inch now, it's over a million dots. They certainly raise the resolution on that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the screen on the back is gorgeous. It's nice and clear, it's sharp. It doesn't seem to be having too much effect with glare, that kind of thing, mm. so. Good. So, Nate, it looks like we have like a whole wardrobe here, hey? There's a winter jacket, socks over here, sweater, pants. Got the whole kit. <laughs> someone's, someone's got underwear on, and that's it. <laughs> So this is actually my first time using the 14 mil, mm. and uh, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this, uh, the back and forth focus select. It's nice it's, and quick. Uh, yeah, it, it's easy to use, and uh, the focus selecting, same as on the X-Pro1, it's the same place as the X-E2, it's, it's really easy to get to. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, what's interesting now here, one of the other things they've changed from the X-E1 and X-Pro1, you now have focus peaking, you can do their split image right. prism focusing, so it looks like a lot of the mirrorless companies are trying to improve manual focusing for people. Yeah, and I mean, especially too, if you're using, you know, non-brand Fuji lenses, that type of thing, uh, every once in a while I use an adapter, use my Nikon lenses, that type of thing. The focus peaking made life easy. So we got Nathan there shooting illegally in the middle of the intersection. And it uh, gives me a good chance to talk about something that Fuji's also added on the X-C2. So we have this LMO system, this lens modulation optimization. And that's just very fancy speak for Fuji basically making profiles so that when you shoot your JPEGs, it'll correct for any lens problems that you have. Chromatic aberrations, distortion, nothing new. I mean, a lot of companies have been using this, and Fuji has used this on cameras like the rex 100s But of course, this is the first one where they're now using it with interchangeable lenses. And I imagine there might even be support for two-it lenses and maybe even aftermarket glass. We'll see what they do in the future. So the one thing I am finding is that uh the focus on this camera is actually faster, even with you know the the recent firmware updates to the to the Fuji the X series line has been amazing. Mm. Like the three whatever it, it is now on the X Pro One, focus is great, but this is actually still well, faster. That makes sense because you need to have the phase detection hybrid system here now that the X One Hundred S has. So this is still the pre production camera. Yeah. So I imagine the focus will probably be even a bit quicker, but we noticed that too. A little bit of improvement even over the X E One. Yeah, it's great. So yeah, we're kicking around downtown right now. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday. It's sparse. Yeah. There's, there's not really anybody out. But uh, you know, I'm and I'm not a huge street photographer guy. You know, I, I dabble in it on my spare time. Mostly a portrait guy, and I've always right. been a big fan of the way you know Fuji, you know, renders skin tones and everything like skin that. Skin tones supposed to be very good. So I mean, you're not you doing do? anything. I mean, I'm you're just not hosting anything. a team. No, you're not, not doing, doing anything. anything. No, I'm not doing anything. So uh, I, I think we're gonna have ourselves, you know, a Chris Nichols photo <laughs> shoot. <laughs> a know, Nathan Elson shoots Chris Nichols for free photo shoot. For free. Okay, just look at that way. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's a You're gonna get up in the tree. I'm getting up in the tree and I'm gonna shoot down on you. Laying down? 
<laughs> yeah. How Let's try. I'm going towards Jordan. Okay. Oh, gross. Whoa. Seriously. <laughs>so yeah we're using the fuji wireless app function they have now again this is pre-production you know it's it's pretty basic app software as well basically let's just shoot up to 30 photos transfer them over so my phone should hopefully be finding the camera here pretty quick but that's one of the other changes they made you do have wi-fi on this camera again honestly fuji hasn't implemented anything like amazing with the wi-fi yet but maybe that'll change in the future we have not been able to get any sort of live uh, viewfinder on the phone or anything like that to work. Okay, but so I just sent you a photo. There it is. Boom, there we oh, are. Oh man, is that what you shot of me in the leaves? I did. You look amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna try to send another one. All right. It's fast. It is fast, yeah. Well, it kind of gives us a clever way to cycle through. So Nate, what do you know about video in these cameras? Nothing. Well, that's okay, because these things still aren't great. It's, it's one of the only disappointments in this line that we're finding. Uh, you know, we talked about the X-C1 video. You don't get shutter speed control. You don't get ISO control, and it's the same here on the X-C2. You know, what they did add were some features that we would have happily traded for shutter speed control. Things like 60 frames per second. Okay, that's kind of nice. Also, we've got a mic jack on there now, so we can put mic in. But you still don't have any creative control in any meaningful way other than changing aperture. And still none of it means a thing to me. Fine, good. Well, you're going to do okay with this camera. All right, guys. Well, it's, it's cold out. Mm. This place is super sketchy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we still have to do a wrap-up. So if we're going to get going, I do know the perfect place to do it. Okay. All right. So long shooting day. Nice long way to finish it, though. Yep. What do you think about shooting the X-E2 today, Nate? Um, I mean, as far as Fuji's go, it, it's beautiful. Yeah. The X-Series is amazing. Uh, the image quality on it. I mean, looking at the back of the camera, sharp. Super, super sharp. Super sharp, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. And again, screen on the back's changed, so that's yeah. nice too to look at. It makes sense too, because we've got the same sensor the X100S has. It's yeah. a brand new sensor. You get the hybrid phase detection autofocus. I mean, they have always taken such great images on the I sensors. Mean, it's, yeah. It is a nice camera to work with. And I mean, as far as the electronic viewfinder goes, I was mm -hmm. using that on my X-Pro1. Um, on the X-E2, it's leaps and bounds better. There, well, no and the leg. XC1 was better than the X Pro One, and then right. another step again on top of that. Yeah. Like it's a really usable viewfinder. I mean, the XC1 had a lot of lag. We noticed that when we did that review, and this yeah. one seems to just be smooth and clean. So that's yep. great. And yeah. another thing with the the Fujis is, you know, everybody was kind of calling out for the ability to do different things with the function buttons. And stuff sure. Like that, yeah. Which, you know, they've improved with you know their firmware updates and that type of thing. But yep. you know, with uh, with the XC2 having more function buttons to actually, you know, cater the camera to exactly, exactly. how it is that you want to use it. I yeah. mean, if there's any complaint Amazing. about the Fuji's, the menus are kind of a little weird. It's right. nice you can set them up to be the way you want with those buttons. Yeah, they're nice and customizable. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, I know you want to take the X-C2, Nate, because you sorely need a camera now, because <laughs> you have this habit of destroying cameras. Yes. Um, but you can't have the X-C2. We've got to send it back to Fuji right away. So we did bring an X-C1. I mean, as we've talked about, the X-C2 is not leaps and bounds above it. It's just a refinement of it, but you're welcome to take that at least you have a Fuji to shoot with. Until the X-C2s get out there. Exactly. Yeah. Should we do at least a selfie? We might yeah. as well while we're in the hot tub. I'm Why feeling handsome. All right. <laughs> Get All right. Cheek to cheek. Yeah. Oh, we gotta get closer. We're gonna get this to fit on the side. Oh my god. Uh, uh, use your feet. No, I got it. I, okay. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, um, so take the battery. Take the lens take off, the, man. Take, take the lens off. That's okay. Uh,